All right, ladies and gentlemen, I'm here on the show, and I'm here on the show to talk about some NFL news. Also tonight, I have my NFL 5.0 mock draft, and then the day of the draft, I'll do my 6.0 uh, final mock, my uh, final official mock draft. I have the Dodgers recap tonight as well. So, well, a few things going on tonight: the NBA playoffs. So, let's get into this here. Rumors: Teams are trying to move up to the. Hashtag Commanders at number two for a QB uh, have been told that they won't be trading the pick per at DM Rossini. Washington is staying put and picking a quarterback with the second pick. This really isn't a surprise. The only reason you do this is because you feel Jane is a legit uh, number uh, number two quarterback, the QB two in this draft. <clears throat> That's why you keep this pick. <clears throat> Not shocking, really not a story. They need a QB. Why would they trade back? No, they weren't going to trade the number two pick back. There's some breaking news today from the Bengals. The hashtag Bengals are re-signing QB Jake Browning to a two-year deal per at rap sheet. I think a very solid decision because Jake Browning has a lot to offer. Because I'm excited to see how he evolves in the team over the next few years as a backup quarterback. Because if Burrow gets hurt again, then you have Jake Browning, who really proved himself last year as a solid quarterback. I mean, he's probably the best backup QB in the league, so this makes sense. Or Joe Flacco. But he's good enough to start somewhere else. But rarely do you see backup QBs get re-signed to multi-year contracts. Uh, rumors. The Patriot, the hashtag Patriots have yet to receive a, a quote, serious offer for the number three pick per at Mass Live Sports. If they stand pat at number three, their pick will likely be one of the top three QBs available, Jaden Daniels, Drake May, or J.J. McCarthy. So people are thinking, oh, Patriots could trade down, but they, per, uh, here per Mass Live Sports, they haven't received a serious offer yet. I mean, I believe this, but I don't think they're going to get a serious offer. But who is the quarterback going to be able to throw to? I mean, like, they've won the worst wide receiver rooms in the NFL. But you look at the source, Mass Life Sports. Is it really a source, though? But I don't, but I don't believe it. That's all from uh, JPA uh, football here. Let's get Adam Schefter. So the trade that I talked about yesterday is official. Uh, the Denver Broncos have acquired QB Zach Wilson in a 2024 seventh round pick, 256, from the Jets in, in exchange for a 2024 sixth round pick of 203. All women ages 38 through 35, 35 through 80, 85, get ready for Zach Wilson. I don't know if you can say old gives Zach Wilson a proper situation, but the truth is he's just not that good. Yeah, good luck. The Broncos QB room is freaking trash. I mean, maybe this will pay off for him, but I don't. I just don't see how it does. Are the NFL is reinstated Philadelphia's Isaiah Rogers? who was suspended for the 2023 season for violating the NFL's gambling policy, he may participate in all team activities effective immediately. This guy's a heck of a player. Like, he was good for the Colts. Like, he's smart. He's got burners. Like, he's pretty good. He's, he improved every year. And ending, they really missed him uh, throughout the 2023 season. But I'm glad he's getting a second chance. Uh, the Broncos picked up the fifth-year option on Pro Bowl cornerback Patrick Sertan. Per source, really a no-brainer. Because, I mean, you got to give him a long-term contract. And the position's not going to get any cheaper, so you better, they got to give him a long-term contract sometime soon. So here's the Texans' uh, new uniforms. The first time they've changed them since they came to the league in 2002. Uh... Few different slides here. Honestly, they look pretty fire. I'm not gonna lie. Like 
those are really nice as hell, man. And they're no helmets. Um, honestly, I like the Texans' new jerseys and helmets here. They look pretty cool. I feel like they did everything right. So the league's review into tampering allegations against the Falcons and Eagles is ongoing and will not conclude this week per the NFL. So yeah, the Falcons and Eagles um, have some tampering allegations. I don't know what the Eagles is for, but the Falcons is for Kirk Cousins allegedly tampering. But the NFL's ridiculous. Uh, Bengals also signed Logan Woodside today after they re-signed Jake Browning to a two-year deal. Uh, they signed Logan Woodside, the former Falcon and Titans QB, who was originally a 2018 seventh round pick of the Bengals. So it looks like he's going to be their third string uh, quarterback. So some new deals in KC. They've extended Mark Donovan, Brett Veach, and Andy Reid to contract extensions. They're, they're running it back, really trying to go back, uh, back to back to back. So no deals announced for uh, the, the Chiefs. So the compensation update on uh, Zach Wilson, the Jets and Broncos are splitting the $5.5 million that is due this season. Jets are paying $2.75 million, the Broncos are paying $2.75 million. So they're both paying the same amount. But the 2021 QB draft class has all been traded. From Zach Wilson, Trey Lance, Justin Fields, and Mac Jones, the only one that hasn't been traded is Trevor Lawrence. 2021 draft class from quarterbacks is look like, looking like a freaking bust. Honestly. Yeah, it's really off to say here uh, for this uh, NFL video. Not much news, but we should get some more news uh, tomorrow, hopefully. But until next time, I'll have a lot. Peace.